Are you tired of using spreadsheets to manage your legal practice? Wouldn't it be nice to have a tool that is easy to use, but also allows you to build connections between your different tables and ensures that your data doesn't get lost? In this video, I will explain why I believe that Airtable is the best alternative to Google Sheets and Excel to manage your day-to-day -day operations as an attorney or law firm. Let's get going. First of all, let's understand why do we need Airtable and why is it better than normal spreadsheets, such as Google Sheets or Excel. There are three main reasons. The first one is that Airtable is actually an online database, which means that when you create two or more tables, you'll be able to connect them together with relationships. Imagine, for example, that you create a table for clients and another one for matters. You'll be able to link them up and connect different matters to different clients and then query your database for a specific client and get together with it all of the matters that it is connected to. This gives us more flexibility and more data integrity, which means that there is less risk that some of the data will get lost, as it sometimes happens with normal spreadsheets. The second reason is that we have much more flexibility in viewing our data. We can not only see our data in a plain format, so like a normal table, but we can also group them by different fields and also have some special views, such as a calendar or, for example, a Gantt chart. And last but not least, we have automation and integrations. We'll be able to automate some of the processes within Airtable directly, such as, for example, when a specific field is changed to a specific value to add a new record in a different table. Also, we'll be able to connect Airtable with some of the tools that you are already using. Or use it together with Integromat or Zapier, an automation platform to build even more automations. Let's check Airtable's website and see what features the software will provide. First of all, we'll be able to build our databases from hundreds of templates that are provided ready to go from Airtable or customize them to our liking. As said before, we'll be able to view our data in different formats, either as a simple grid view, as a calendar, a gallery, or even a Kanban. We'll also be able to extend the functionality of our databases with Airtable apps, either, either those from third parties or those built directly by Airtable such as importing a CSV file, time tracking, or building a chart. We'll also be able to automate part of our work directly in Airtable with Airtable automations. We'll also be able to connect them with different apps that you're already using and sync our databases with other users, which is this collaboration. Finally, you'll be able to use the mobile app of Airtable to change your databases on the go. As for pricing, the first plan is free. With it, you get unlimited databases and a limit of 1,200 records per base. As you scale up to plus, which is just $10 per month per user, if you pay annually, you get more records, also a six month history of any of the changes that you've done to your database and also table syncing. Finally, on the pro plan, you get even more records and more storage limits, a one year revision period, and also some more customizations such as logged views and table editing permissions. Finally, there is the enterprise plan for bigger companies. 
Let's jump into the main screen and build our first database. Here on the left, you'll be able to access all the workspaces that you have created and the databases that are shared with you. You'll also be able to find some learning materials. Let's go on and create our first database. Here we have three options. We can either start with one of the hundreds of templates that Airtable provides, import data with a CSV file, or start from scratch. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll go with the third option. And let's build a database storing matters and clients and connect the two as discussed in the beginning. We'll be able to customize the appearance of our databases. So changing the color and also add an icon. Each database can have multiple tables. As you can see, we already have one created, table one. Let's double click it and rename it to matters. Here you can see several columns. In Airtable, as it is the databases, they are called fields, while rows are called records. Each field can be renamed and will have its own data type. In this case, it was text, but now let's convert it into a number with an integer. You're also able to delete fields and to move them around. Let's now delete these two and create some new ones. The first thing that we want to create is the date that the case of the matter was opened. Let's select date. And this time we want to include a time field. Let's also add a field for the hours that we have worked on this case, which will be a number. Let's also add the hourly rate that we charge our client for this specific matter. Which will be a currency. And just as in Excel or Google Sheets, we are able to use formulas to do calculations. So let's create a field called total for the total amount that we have to charge our client for this matter. Choose formula. And here you get all the possible formulas and variables that you can use to build a formula. In this case, it will be hours worked multiplied by the hourly rate. Fantastic. And just like that, we have our first fields created. Let's now populate the table with some data. And as you can see, as we add more data, our formula gets updated with the correct information. As said before, we'll be able to view our data in different formats. Right now we are in the grid view, but we can also create new views down here on the left. Let's add a new calendar view. We'll choose the date field that we want to use to base our dates on, which will be the date opened and press done. And just like that, we can see the three matters that we have created with the IDs showing on the calendar on the respective dates. You'll also be able to sort and filter your data just as you can in Excel or Google Sheets over here. Additionally, you'll be able to group and change the color of the different records. Now, let's add a new table of clients and connect it with matters. We'll create an empty table. We we'll also can import from a CSV file, Excel or Google Sheets 
or to sync our data directly from either data providers, such as another Airtable database, Google Calendar, Google Drive, or for example, the Outlook Calendar. Now, for now, our client's database will just have the name. And go back to our matters. Let's now create a new field and call it client. And in the field type, we'll choose link to another record. We'll choose the client table and disallow linking to multiple records. So one matter can only have one client. Airtable will also ask us if we want to bring any other fields apart from the primary field from the other table. In this case, we'll just need the name, so we won't add it into the lookup field. And just like that, for every matter, we're able to choose from any of the clients that we have in the other table. So let's say Amazon for this and Microsoft for this one. If we go back to our clients table, we'll also see all the matters that they are linked to, and these values will be updated dynamically. Finally, let's look at grouping. Let's press group, and let's group it by client. And just like that, we can see all of our records in the matters grouped by their specific client, Amazon and Microsoft. This will become very handy as you try to classify all the different matters that you have for different clients. Last but not least, let's have a look at automations and the apps. As said before, apps give you some extra abilities for your area table, such as building charts or importing a CSV file. We won't go into detail here as we just don't have the time. We'll also be able to add some automations, either from a template, such as when a Google Calendar event is created, add a new record in this specific table, or a custom ones. We'll be able to choose from various triggers, such as, for example, when a record matches a specific condition, when a new record is created, at a scheduled time, or when a webhook is received for advanced automations. Let's say when a record matches condition. Choose a table of matters. And let's say that the condition will be that the total is larger than $1,000. If we run the test, we'll be able to check that the condition works properly. We'll then be able to choose from different types of actions, such as sending an email, creating a new record, or running a script for more advanced automations. We'll also be able to choose some actions from your integrations that you have connected. Let's send ourselves an email reminding us that we need to invoice this client. Say invoice. And in here, we'll also be able to use any of the fields that we got from that particular record. So record from step one. And in here, for example, we can choose our client. And as we drop in into the client table, we'll choose a name. So let's say invoice Apple or invoice Microsoft. We'll also be able to define the message again, being able to use any of the custom fields and any attachments. And let's run the test. Perfect. Everything works correctly. And in here, we can preview the email. So you can see the two email is correct. And then the subject is invoice Amazon. Fantastic. We'll then be able to turn on our automation. Remember to, turn, to do this step, as sometimes it's not that clear. And let's go back. Fantastic, our automation is running. Now, this was just a quick overview 
of what Airtable has to offer. During the coming weeks, we'll be posting more tutorials and tips and tricks on how to use Airtable for legal automation on our YouTube channel. So subscribe to learn more. I hope that you have found this video useful. If you'd like our team to help you in your digital transformation, check out our services on our website, automationforlawyers.com. We offer several options. One of them is hourly consulting with an automation expert from our team. And another is custom project development. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.